Ben de wereld die je wilt zien. Zij er moet nog een keer zeggen. Ben de wereld die je wilt zien. My name is Nuri Vicens Rosenbush, and the Episcopal Cathedral is hosting a show of my paintings and icons for Mother Nature. The show expresses the closeness I feel with nature as well as my growing awareness of the fragile balance that exists between the natural world and humanity. And lately, hearing that many species of plants and animals are at risk for extinction fills me with grief. Our own hands are playing a big part of this dangerous imbalance. والأعاصير والفيضانات ولكنه لا يستطيع إنقاذهم من الغباء الإنساني. And in this work, these feelings are present, and at the same time, I do want to add hope and beauty. What are the technical means by which you communicate your ideas? I love to combine and experiment with different materials and substrates. I use burnt paper, I use plaster, smoke and leaves. Leaves are metaphors of the map of time, the life-death cycle, and the hope for rebirth. I started using smoke after experiencing an Indian ceremony at an archaeological dig in Honduras. This ceremony involved the burning of copal resin. And today as I work with copal resin, I think of the smoke it creates as the embodiment of fire's power. It represents for me on one hand the destructiveness that humans can inflict in nature. On the other hand, it also represents rebirth, allowing for new life, like the symbol of the phoenix rising from the ashes. Dans la nature, il n'y a ni récompense, ni punition. Il y a des conséquences. Nori, you have shown in Europe, South America and the United States. You have worked both as an illustrator and a fine artist. And you have your MFA from the University of Pennsylvania. But how did you get started? I was born and raised in Chile daughter of Spanish and German World War II immigrants. Both of my parents loved the arts and one of their hobbies was to go to the countryside taking my brothers and me and paint outdoors. I never forgot the landscape there with its earthen colors, the deep blue strength of the Pacific Ocean, the sounds and the smells. I'm at home with all these things.
My parents and grandparents were always open to my desire to play with painting and drawing, and I always felt very acknowledged and supported by them. Porque no pensamos en las futuras generaciones, ellas nunca nos olvidarán. You have taught both art and Spanish. Tell me about how your love of language and literature is present in your show. Wise people have written very poignant quotes. They express our concern about us, human beings, and our relationship with nature. It is important to me to express them in writing and have them heard. Because these quotes are universal as well as personal, I ask friends and acquaintances to handwrite and speak them into their native language. I think I have them in about 17 different languages, like Arabic, Chinese, Polish, Mandarin, even in Sanskrit. It was wonderful to have people be so open to collaborate in translating these quotes. For me, this is a way to be inclusive. من أجل أن تستمر الإنسانية في الحياة لا بد من تغيير طريقة تفكيرنا جذريا I really hope that people have a more holistic experience as they look at my work and read and hear these quotes. And bet lemetkel, tru planet kalilot, min tekam allo. My desire is to awaken the heart and the intellect of the viewer. Maybe that we get involved in any which way, big or small, in taking care of our Mother Earth. Like Carl Sagan said, to preserve and cherish this pale blue dot, the only home we have ever known. Wenn du wilde wilt zien.